I figured I would do a video on the text obfuscator tool that I've been working on since 2016. The tool is called Tamadachi Munger because originally it was designed strictly to randomize the Tamadachi dialogue, which was seen in the totally normal visit to the island. I mostly come up here when I have to bark. So do I. As a bonus, and as a feature I never used again, it mixed up the animation on the 3D models. The next idea I had was to scrape YouTube comments and insert them into dialogue. Since Vinesons Vinny was playing Animal Crossing at the time, Animal Crossing seemed like an obvious choice for this project. The very first video, which was originally known as Animal Crashing, was filled with random YouTube comments. The game sucks. That's how we start. It was purely random. There was no order to it. No filtering. Nothing. Just YouTube comment puke everywhere. Ah, scoot! Why is... <laughs> Everything Scoot says has to do with, um, bee copulation. It had a few good moments, but overall did not make any sense. I also then applied this back into Tamadachi Life, which created Metadachi Life. It was, of course, using the Tamadachi Life YouTube comments in Tamadachi Life itself. This game started my field. It did for many. Jackson happened. I'm aware. I did start a second Tamadachi Life video. Hubba Bubba! Haley is the Scream Lord! Haley! Strawberries! Was I wrong? Dude, that is so fucking true. That I was wrong? Well, sorry, man. However, I decided it just wasn't funny enough to complete. It felt like I had done the joke and I had to move on to something else. My next inspiration would be Vinny playing Kronos Trigger which was an entire retranslation of the Chrono Trigger dialogue run through a telephone translation style tool written by Scales, which translated all the dialogue into several languages and back into English, ultimately resulting in a in scrambled dialogue that was English-ish and sufficiently random to be funny. My husband is a smart girl to be beautiful. <laughs> That's right. This is the Middle Ages, you can be whoever you want. I got into contact with Scales after this and applied the same thing to Animal Crossing. And this gave birth to Beast Intersection. The title, of course, being Animal Crossing twisted around in language translation. I really enjoyed making this video, plus it started to actually reveal character traits. Since, of course, a bonus of the translated language is it still makes a little bit of sense. So Bircho's boiling today. Is that a way of saying I look hot? In my protect? But the new slogan beat me! I cannot think of anything! Wait! Full of ideas! It uh, does mean? You don't want to say boy <laughs> anymore? <laughs> and after that, I was going to do another one using Scales Translation. However, I felt like, once again, it was just kind of the same thing. They were saying the same lines, this translation was goofy, and it's like, uh, I don't know. Didn't feel it. So I decided to tune the Animal Crossing randomizer and start adding specific randomization based on personality traits, to some extent. This would pick out certain adjectives from sentences and try to bucket them into particular characteristics. This led to some interesting side effects because in some contexts, certain words may sound sensuous. Purred fuck, <laughs> I went, damn it. I still wish the fuck would go. <laughs> and yet in other contexts, they sound furious. Oh, God damn it, Southward! Fuck, fuck chaos down, fuck, fuck me, fuck, fuckers and fuck me! And it was clear that the YouTube comments could only offer so much depth. And so after 10 episodes, the original Beast Intersection series came to a close. 2017, be such a bitch! Yeah. I agree, everyone. 2017 was quite a bitch. I decided to take a few months off and rethink the formula a little bit. So instead of simply trying to filter YouTube comments into particular personalities, I thought I could go to particularly themed subreddits and find text that actually fit to personalities in general. So now in Wolfburg, the characters generally have a much more defined personality. Oh, it's rare to meet someone who thinks they're a bad driver. I'm probably a bad driver since I have never driven a car in my life. I think part of what makes the Wolfberg series operate better is that a lot of the text comes from subreddits where people are just having very real conversations about life. Generally, the quality of text on Reddit is much higher than in YouTube comments. This adds flavor text, and basically any character at any point might slip into the general pool. A doctor's coat. 
Am I in the wrong position at work? You're right, it really does! <laughs> what? I got an interview! May the Force, you know, be with you! Interview for Dr. Percy. Well, good luck, Dr. Percy. Each game I've added support for has been a little bit different every time. However, the core of the program basically always operates the same. It reads all of the dialogue files in the game, rips open the strings, replaces them, plying text strings from the different sources, and then sews it back together. A typical Beast Intersection episode requires about three to four hours of recorded footage. Despite all my efforts, it is still very random. And of course, that means most of the time what they're saying makes no sense. How long till we get to Mexico? That's three in a row! Ah, too young. Stop watching entirely. I haven't really experimented to see if there's a particular limit. So usually I just try to cap things to stay behind the original length. Very angry beaver who attacked Bill. Also, I'm new to this. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. I generally never plan stories ahead of time when I start a Beast Intersection episode. I just let events happen in the game, and the characters say what they say, and react as they react. Like I was not a fan of the whole way the Freya thing started in Wolfburg. <laughs> he just had sex with the... What? I feel like, Bird, what we had was real, but is in the past. Bella being upset and hurt in the beginning of Wolfburg. However, it happened, and despite my own personal bias, I ran with it. Now, one thing I do permit myself to do is to adjust the randomizers a little bit. Like after Bella was hurt, I decided for her to favor sad-themed subreddits and, you know, relationship-themed subreddits. So she started to react apparently emotionally. Uh, your family hate me. Well, I know why they hate me, but I'm sure that they have no faith in this relationship, and I'm also sure that their negativity about our relationship is affecting you. Ugh, oh, Bella. And once she gave an impassioned speech about getting back together, thus I changed her personality again, turned her back to a happier character. I love you, all there is to you. Every last bit of it, and I love how you are with me, so sweet, all the time. A true romantic, but a good man at the same time. Plain perfect for me in reality. Whew! <laughs> and at the time I'm recording this, there were three other games that I used the Munder tool on. Like Metopia, Pokemon, and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Metopia actually had two different videos. The first one was again Vine Sauce themed, and utilized text from the Tomodachi Life comments again. Klingon's Band of Misfits, or Misfits. My work has finally paid off. Memes! I only did one chapter of this and decided to discontinue it. The reason being I wanted to focus more on my content and stop coattailing Vine Sauce so much. So I redid it as more of a Beast Intersection themed video, and which instead pulled sources from the current Beast Intersection videos at the time. And this was known as Metopia Crossing. I'm drunk. <laughs> Lolly, please, we need you! Biggest difficulty in that series is that it's really hard to make animal characters with the Mii editor. So there's only a handful of characters that could even work. And that's part of the reason why I did the joke of all the residents of the town just being villager. Get help, mate. You can eat 50 dicks. <sighs> Thousand Year Door's text featured the script of the Super Mario Bros. movie, plus a fan fiction written by Max Landis that he really despises, but I thought it was funny to throw it in in any way. What if the impact of that meteorite created a parallel dimension? And then there's another dimension where it's two centimeters to the right. <gasps> Toad! This is Luigi. <laughs> well, it's Mario actually, but you know, okay, what's that? Finally, my favorite miscellaneous game would have to be the Pokemon Moon series. Hey, perk! <laughs> I kind of like that. Perk. It's the over-emotional Pokemon. This series didn't use any particular special text set, just the text that I had at the time from Beast Intersection. However, it is my favorite miscellaneous series. I think the cartoon quality of the game brings out a different level of humor. These characters are saying their random lines with absolute conviction. Ha <laughs> ha, man, I lost again. Goodbye, Moon Man. I've got not one, but two family members who share their names with ducks in this game. Hey, it's me, Mallow. That's a whole big helping, a whole big helping of Mallow. Crabs demand troopers. I love being human. Here you are. <laughs> you, Burnett, are watching me nudes. It's projected off to the side. 
Of all the miscellaneous series, I actually miss Pokemon the most. I genuinely had a lot of fun making it, and would hope to do another one like that again. Hope this gives you a little bit of insight into my process, and how these videos are made. And of course, a very frequently asked question is whether or not I'll ever release my tool. And the answer is, I'd like to. The code is currently a little bit of a mess, and needs to be reorganized, maybe given a little bit of a UI, so that general people will be able to use it, not just software developers. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.